I think that working in tech is the best, the best, the best, the best career type. How exciting is tech and how exciting is it to be living right now where technology is changing so, so quickly? I mean, you buy a phone today and tomorrow it's out of date. I have to learn something new all the time. So I've put together a list of the top 10 jobs right now. Lots of companies want these people and each role is slightly different. Some of them, like you need to get this role first and then you can go into this role and then you go into the next role. It's like a stepping stone thing. Other roles are slightly different altogether because there's specific technology, specific skills that you need to know. Some of them are a little bit more business oriented, a little bit more managerial. Some of them are a little bit more technical. But these are the roles that companies are looking for. These are the roles that recruiters are looking for. Now you gotta do the subscription thing. You gotta click on that button, right? It's there, I think, right there somewhere there, make sure you click on the bell as well so you don't miss out on anything. We're gonna start with help desk. Now almost every single company is gonna need somebody in IT that just helps them with the day-to-day -day IT stuff. Resetting passwords, doing some basic troubleshooting, picking up the phone, sending an email, looking at a ticketing system, help desk, service desk, admins, techs, analysts, they go by many, many names. They're gonna be good at communication, good at customer service. You need to be able to talk to people. This is the job that most people in IT start off with. Now, what do they earn? Starting maybe around the 55, 60,000 per year. Now they were called level one people, then you move into level two people. So in this category, we've got desktop and app support people, support analysts. They're now gonna go out to the floor, maybe helping people, doing some more troubleshooting about technology systems, opening up computers, installing software, getting a little bit more geeky. They gotta be a little bit more technically skilled to be able to take on that role, but they're huge in demand. Gonna be starting around $70,000. I'm gonna talk here about project managers. Now these are project managers specifically in the realm of technology because ultimately like every single industry, every single work type has like a project manager. There's a project manager that does like finance. There's a project manager that does marketing stuff. Well, there's a project manager that does IT. IT projects, planning, execution, doing project plans, PMPs. They're gonna be delivering stuff. They're gonna be talking about budgets. They're gonna be raising RFPs, talking to vendors, talking to suppliers, doing daily standups. They're gonna know about prints too. They're gonna know about Scrum. They're gonna know about Agile, but they're also gonna be technical to be able to deliver IT projects. Hot in demand, starting 100, 110, 120, Plus, they can go up to the high hundreds. Then I'm gonna talk about our level threes. We talked about our level ones being help desk, level twos being desktop support. Level threes, your sys admins, your sys engineers, your network engineers, your network admins, right? All of those roles, storage admins. They're all sort of gonna be part of level three. They're now looking at the networks. They're now looking at the systems. They wanna make sure that everything is working well. They're working in data centers. They're racking stuff. They're patching, they're backing up. Depending on the company is small, medium or large, they're gonna start at around the 90 to 100K, but it's not uncommon for your sysadmins to be on around 110, 120. Your sysengineers being a little bit higher, your networking people are around the same. So you could get some that are up to 130, 140,000, Plus, if they're really good, closely associated with these are people who are now experts in cloud. So they're gonna sort of be maybe admins, but they're now cloud admins. So they're gonna be experienced around your cloud technologies. Like maybe your big ones, like your Google, your Microsoft Azure, AWS. They're the three big ones, but there's others out there. But they're now gonna be maybe experts in the cloud space. Let's say they're focused on AWS. They know a little bit about EC2. They know about S3 buckets. They know how to build cloud environments, get them working well. And now they're really cloud admins as opposed to on-premise admins. Probably gonna be around 110, 120 plus, depending on the complexity of the environments. But ultimately, look, more and more and more, People are working in the cloud. Developers, developers, de no, I'll stop. But yes, your software developers, your software engineers, people who do the coding, people who know about different sorts of languages. Now look, yes, you can get into full stack, you can get into all these different sorts of languages if you're a Java guy, if you're a C++ person, if you're playing in Unity, like there's different flavors, there's different stuff that a developer can do, a coder or a programmer can do. And again, depends on the complexity of the company, depends on the complexity of the work that they're working on. Roughly, they're gonna be starting at around the 120 plus, not uncommon to find some developers in the 160, the 170 range. 
if they're really, really good and they know their code and they can build some really cool stuff, the sky's the limit with the developers. Then you got this sort of little hybrid role. And these are people who are in the DevOps space, dev being development and ops being operations. So they sort of sit in the middle of the developers and the operations people or the admins. And because they've got skills in two, they're gonna be in a very niche specific position. They're a little bit more specialist. There's not many people who know both of those technologies quite well. So as a result of that, companies do want folks that know both spaces. And for the DevOps people, you're gonna be probably around the 130, 140, up again remembering they could go probably into the high hundreds and they are super hot in demand then you got people who are all about data people who can understand that data people who understand the problems of the business and then can sort of give solutions to fix that and fix their data problems and fix their system problems people who know a little bit about data analytics people who are like scientific around data people who understand processes who understand how data flows between systems data analysts business analysts you've even got data scientists people who can talk the business talk people who can also talk the technical talk starting at around the 120 going up from there data scientists going up from there 140 150 data 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 then you've got your managers right people you, like you need managers not everybody likes managers frankly but everybody has to report into somebody everybody has a manager but you need people to look after all of these people that we just talked about you need somebody that is going to be uh, signing the checkbook checkbook sign what what do they sign they don't sign checkbooks anymore they approve the email they write the business cases they're speaking to the senior leaders. They're speaking to board members. They're ultimately responsible for everything. When things go wrong, the admin doesn't really get in trouble. I mean, they may, but ultimately their boss is gonna get asked what happened. And the IT manager is a very, very broad term. You've got service desk managers. You've got IT operations managers, infrastructure managers, development managers, service delivery managers. You've got heads of technology. You've got directors of technology. And then you've got your C-level. C-level being your chiefs, your CIO, your CTO, your CISO, your Chief Information Security Officers. IT managers commonly will start maybe at around the 130, 140, 150 range. More specialist managers will be around the 160, 170. Your heads of tech, your IT directors will be on your 200 plus, and then your C-level executives are gonna be on, who knows? Who knows? 300, 400, plus bonus, plus private jets. Maybe not the private jets. They're gonna earn a lot. Every single day, you're reading in the newspaper, not physical newspaper, on your iPad newspaper, cyber attacks all the time, aren't you? Every single company is scared about cyber attacks. So you need cyber engineers, cyber experts that can make sure that the cyber is under control, really in demand. Everybody wants a cyber person. 150, 160, 170 plus for your cyber experts. Did I miss any? I'm sure I did. What other roles are there? Maybe like web people, architects. Anyway, they're my top list for right now. Maybe in the next 12 months, in the next 24 months, it's gonna change again. Let me know in the comments below what you thought. Let me know if you're gonna go and get yourself one of these jobs. Let me know if you are in one of these jobs. Maybe you're not getting paid what I said, or maybe you're getting paid a lot more than what I said. Do the subscription button, smash that button. Every week we release new videos, so click on that bell so you don't miss out on anything. And also stay tuned for the next video where we continue talking about all things tech. We'll talk to you then.